you've kind of like been an open book on social media. You sort of at the, I would say at the height of your divorce and you could correct me. Um, you sort of like got emotional on social media and accused your ex of cheating. Yeah. And then you kind of came back and were like, just to clarify, he didn't. How did you learn yeah. and grow from that scenario and that situation? You know what it was? It was, you know, he didn't, he didn't cheat on me, but we, we were separated, but during our separation, things were happening, you know? Yeah. And, um, when we kind of finally broke up, uh, you know, in the midst of that, he was really quick to move on. Um, and like, I found out in a way that was just like really weird. And so I was just like really hurt and really angry and just, you know, yeah, it was just, I get it. <laughs> um, yeah. And I was just impulsive and whatever. And, you know, uh, I've gotten a lot better with being impulsive, um, probably because I'm <laughs> on medication now, um, because, <laughs> Uh, basically when we had gotten back together after all of that, uh, and we got divorced again, he started kind of seeing someone pretty quickly again. And again, the way I found out about it was like really horrible. And I just, uh, it just triggered a breakdown. Um, it, ugh. I don't want to cry. <laughs> him and I are actually in a really good place right now but I it just triggered it was a really dark time for me and um you know luckily there's so many things out there now like resources and stuff for people and mm -hmm. when they're in like kind of a crisis situation like that they can reach out and um so I was able to get through um with you know my mom's help uh got through to like a psychiatrist through an app and they, you know, I ended up getting a, a bipolar two diagnosis and um, they sent me medication and I got on that and like it fairly quickly um, worked for me and it was, wow. it really helped me. And then I started seeing a different psychiatrist just cause uh, in in a moment like that, it was helpful, but I wanted someone that was like a little bit more personable. Yeah. Um, because on the apps and stuff, it can be kind of quick and like mm -hmm. informal. I wanted someone I could really build with, so I started speaking to a different psychiatrist and a therapist, and um, kind of get like a second opinion on stuff. And uh, I definitely have bipolar too. Oh. <laughs> and I was learning a lot more about it, and it was just crazy because. Mm -hmm. It just, a lot of things started to make sense. I chose medication the route for me because I, up until then I've tried pretty much everything else, diet, exercise, like m taking the right vitamins, like all yeah. that stuff. And like, I'm just the kind of person I needed that little extra boost and, you know, I'm, I'm doing good right now. So I'm happy with my choice. I am incredibly proud of you because I, I mean, I can relate on a lot of what you're saying, but to just be so open about something that's so new to you. I mean, you revealed that you were diagnosed in June, 2022. Is that when you were diagnosed or were you diagnosed? Yeah. Prior? I, yeah, I think when I, I don't remember how long had passed when I said it, but no, it was like, I believe it was June 2nd is when I had my like breakdown uh so and it, and it was like within a few days of that that but within like two or three days from that day is when I uh ended up getting help and then so it was like later that month I think I posted about it thank you for yeah. doing that and I'm so happy to hear that you <laughs> took the steps that you needed to take and and I agree with you. I think therapy is the most, one of the greatest tools and one of the greatest gifts we can give ourselves. Um, but that's terrifying. Like, did you go through life feeling a specific type of way or feeling like, like, was it an aha moment when you got this diagnosis? Um, it was kind of, 
cathartic because I think it's something like I knew really that, like I knew but I yeah but I kind of just wanted to like manage it on, I thought I could manage it like on my own um wow so it was just like cathartic for like a professional to tell me and then I was like all right well let me get a second opinion now that like things have calmed down a little and like I'm you know and I did little experiments. Like I tried um, getting off of my medication, which is a very common thing. People will <laughs> take their medication and they're like, I feel great. I'm fine. I don't need this. And then they try to get off of it. And then it's like, whoa, okay, wait, maybe I do. So <laughs> I saw a difference in little things. Um, like one of the things that I that I have, because there's so many cases that are that are different, not, not every you know, bipolar, um, two cases, the same, but, um, one of my things that I have is with anxiety, it's like rapid cycling, uh, thoughts. So I just have, will have anxious thoughts that are just kind of like on a loop, uh, mm -hmm. in my head. And then it kind of makes you irritable too. Cause you're constantly just like on edge thinking of these things. And like with my medication, I don't have that anymore. Oh, wow. Um, like I I'll have it, but like on a healthy level, like on a normal amount of anxiety level. So it's, it's been a lot better.